Hey guys, so a couple of weeks ago, I did a video for Silhouette Sunday doing a mock-up using an image um, that I uploaded into Silhouette Studio and put a design on top of. And I was asked if you could do the same thing in Cricut Design Space, and you can. So the image that you currently see on my screen is an image that I took using my phone and I've uploaded it into Cricut Design Space. Now I'm gonna show you the steps for uploading it and getting a clear image that doesn't um, have anything I'm just gonna say for ease messed with so that you just get a clear image. Um, I know that's one of the things that people were talking about is that it wants to doctor the image to make it a cut file or a print then cut file, but you can get it to upload as you see as a straight just picture. So what you're gonna do is click on upload and then you're going to upload an image and then find that image on your computer and click open and then I like to choose the option that says complex and then continue. And it's going to think about it for a moment. And it's going to ask you if you want to erase any parts. We don't. So we're going to go ahead and click continue again. And then on this next screen, you're going to get a preview of what your image looks like and you'll click save. Now I'm not going to do that for this particular instance for two reasons. One, it actually does take a long time to process these large images. And two, I already have the image done. So I'm going to go ahead and click cancel. And you can see I have the image here on my virtual mat in my craft area or craft or cutting area. They call it a canvas, but that doesn't seem like a natural name to me. <laughs> um, you can see it here on screen. Now I did size this down because it does open quite large, but once it's a workable size, you can go into images and you can add whatever design you want. So you can create your own or use something from the, li from the library here. So let's say I wanted to use this unicorn design. I would go ahead and select it and I would say insert and it comes up with a transparent background. So it's ready to just be resized and place down on my shirt. So my shirt is a little bit angled in the photo, so I'd wanna angle it here as well. And naturally I need to resize it so it doesn't land on top of any of the props. So once I'm happy with where it is, I can actually go and recolor anything that I don't care for in the design or to match the vinyl that I may be using. So let's say this um, word unicorn, I want it to be a different color pink. I could just select it there and if I wanted the stars to be a different color, I could change the, that to something a little more vibrant, either by selecting something here or using the slider. And then once I'm happy with the image, I need to take a screenshot. So if you're on a window system, you're going to use the snipping tool. And if you're on a Mac, you're gonna hit Command, Shift, and three to take a, a picture of your whole screen, or you can hit Command, Shift, and four and you'll get these crosshairs and you can actually draw a box around the entire image. Now I recommend using, if you're on a Mac, Command, Shift, and four so you can get a better picture, but you can do the whole screen if you have it set up to be a landscape wide picture. So that is it. That's how you make a mock-up in Cricut Design Space. If you guys have any questions for me, you can leave them in the comment section down below. And as always, thanks for watching.